Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you and reviewing my Chanel Duvel tote. I've had this bag for actually a really long time. I think I've had it since November, but I only just started using it. It is a very like light colored bag, so it would have felt really weird using this in the snow. So I saved it to use in like the spring summer. And finally the weather's getting nice, so I brought it to Mexico with me. That was actually the first time that I used it and I have been using it ever since. And the few times that I have had this with me on my Instagram and Instagram stories, I get flooded with questions about it and people asking for a review. So I wanted to review it because I have, I have some thoughts on this bag. And I also thought it might be helpful to compare it to my Louis Vuitton Neverfull because I kind of got this bag thinking it would be very similar to this and they're very different. So. Let me first tell you a little backstory of how I ended up with this bag and kind of like my reasoning for it and then I'll share with you what I keep in it and I'll do a little comparison. So to start out, I have been wanting a Duvel tote for over a year. The thing is they only come out with Chanel's cruise collection every year. So they only come out once a year in November and because of that they're very sought after, they're limited, not limited, but they're obviously not like huge collections and some stores get different styles and colors. I was on like four different lists. I was on a Neiman Marcus Chanel list. I was on the Chanel on um, Fifth Avenue's list. I was on the Chanel. This actually came from the Chanel on Madison Avenue. And I was also on a store list, the Chanel in Short Hills Mall. So I was on four lists and I think that's kind of the way to go because every store gets different colors and styles periodically. And some of the stores, like the Chanel boutiques, knew what, what styles they were gonna be getting. The Neiman Marcus store that I was on did not know what they were getting. So, uh, or they know what they're getting. They know what they're getting, but they don't know how many they're getting of each. And they have lists. Even when I put my name on there in, gosh, I think I put my name down in, I wanna say like the summertime last year knowing that they were coming out in November. And even then there was like 10 names ahead of me on the list. So I put my name on this bag, this color combination, and also the gray one. But at the time they didn't know if the gray one was gonna be like a dark charcoal gray or a light heather gray. So I put my name on both, but I really, really wanted, my dream bag was the tan color, I think from two years ago. It was kind of like a nude tan color. So when I saw this one coming out, and this was actually the first Duvel tote that they've ever done with gold hardware, I knew I wanted to put my name down on this. So my name was on four lists and I was contacted by my sales girl in Mad at the Madison Avenue shop first and I had to pretty much decide because if they don't get a, co a commitment from you, they go to the next person on the list. So that all like gives me so much anxiety. So <laughs> I ended up getting this through her through the Madison Avenue boutique and actually the sales associate in the name of Marcus ended up contacting me like a month and a half later. So again, you just never know when they're getting them and how many they're getting and even if they get it, you're not guaranteed because it goes first come first serve. So got the bag in November, but I left it in the box. I left it in the box and I never used it. I mean, I obviously took it out and I wanted to see it and hold it. I bought this with the intention of having it be like a diaper bag, not a diaper bag, but a carry all bag that I can use when I have the kids with me, which is 99% of the time. And you've seen a what's in my diaper bag video. I'll post it below if you haven't seen it. Now that Bentley is a little bit older, he's not like baby baby. I'm not carrying as much stuff with me, but I still carry a good amount. So I'm gonna just share with you what I keep for myself in here and I'll just tell you like what I would add if I had the kids with me. So for starters, what I was not expecting because I had never actually held one or like seen one in person. I've only ever seen them online. It's a very heavy bag. This is kind of like a woven tweed material. The handles are leather and then the chain is a chain. Oh, look, here's a little plastic that I still haven't even taken off. The chain is a chain with like a woven in between. So I'll get up close so you can see it. So the front, the back is plain, but the tweed is like a gold sparkle. It's got like shimmer running through it. So hopefully you can see that. There's different ways that you can carry this. I typically carry it like this. You can also carry it as a shoulder bag like this, which is convenient, especially when you have baby carrying. And you also can, there's little toggles, so you also can pull these in 
and just make you can like adjust the length of how you want the chain to lay or you can just completely kind of hide the chain on the inside of the bag and just have it as a top handle bag so there's definitely a lot of different ways that you can do it there's also a little button closure on the top there it's magnetic and this is everything I have inside. There is a large pocket here, a little smaller pocket, and then on the other side, there is a zip, zip pocket. And it's essentially just a big bucket bag, like my Louis Vuitton. So, like I said, I bought this bag with the intention of using it as a carry-all, especially for when I have all the kids' stuff with me. But I don't find myself reaching for this as much because it is so heavy. So I brought this to Mexico with me and I wanted this to be my airplane carry-on, which is typically my Louis Vuitton. This, is, this has come on so many trips with me. It's my airplane bag. It's what I love because it just fits so much stuff and the, the handles are really comfortable. It's just a great like carry-all. I have a lot of handbags in my collection and if I could only have one, it would be this one. So let me just preface by saying I am a huge huge fan of this bag and I've used it for so many years and for so many things and it's just my my go-to travel bag because it just fits everything and it's comfortable the straps are really light it's a very lightweight bag to begin with so taking this to Mexico as my airplane bag I have some regrets <laughs> this bag is heavy when it's empty on its own it's heavy but when you add everything that I had Oh my gosh. And just to give you an idea, when I travel on an airplane, my jewelry goes in here and my makeup goes in here because I have a Louis Vuitton makeup case that I obviously spent a lot on and that's not gonna go in my suitcase for someone to steal and I'm not gonna be packing my jewelry. That went in here. And then, you know, just the normal stuff, my passport, my wallet, like those things are little. But between my makeup and my jewelry, which is always what I carry with me, I've always taken those in here with me too. So but this was so heavy. And when we landed in Mexico, we stood in a two and a half hour customs line. It was brutal. The whole time I'm in line, I'm like regretting that I, not that I bought the bag, but that I used this as my airplane bag. I was actually carrying it on my shoulders by these because obviously we had a suitcase, I had another carry-on, and carrying it from here wasn't always comfortable, so I, you know, was carrying it on my shoulders a lot, but the problem is these are not comfortable straps. Nowhere near as comfortable as my never full straps. And they were like digging into my shoulder. I definitely had of this chain. This was not, not ideal. Not ideal and it was very heavy, very uncomfortable. So if you don't have a lot to carry, maybe it would be good, but I don't know, it just wasn't a good idea for me. I love the concept of it. I love that it's so big and it's a bucket bag. And to me, it's like a really good summer tote, but I just underestimated how heavy it was. Do I regret buying this bag? No, I love it. I think it's beautiful. As an everyday bag, I have been using it now as like my diaper bag and my bag. And I'm gonna share with you what I have in here, but it is very heavy. So I just wanna leave you with that. But let me show you what I have in here right now. This is like the stuff that I keep for myself in here on a regular basis. So the first is my little rose gold mirrored mom wow pouch. And in here I keep all of my like coupons and store reward certificates. I have my little suede pouch. This is old from Anthropology. And here's my checkbook and my checks. My wallet, this is a little Chanel um, card case and I really just keep cards in here. I have some cash at some point but this is just my cards and this is actually, I love the little size of this and this is what I take with me when I'm just like running in and out of stores. I'll take this in my keys. And then I have the Louis Vuitton zip and then these, these, these are card, like gift cards. Gift cards for myself and the kids. And my car key. I keep in my little back pouch my favorite hand lotion, two packs of gum, I have some receipts from my pedicure that I just had, another hand lotion, some lip products that fell out of my pouch, coupons for the store, two quarters. On the inside pouch I also keep these latex gloves. I always carry these because when Addie has chemo it turns her urine to like pure acid. So. 
when I'm helping her in the bathroom, I always have gloves. So I keep those with me at all times. Also have my phone. This is a loopy case. I get lots and lots of questions about it. I'll have a promo code for you in the description box below. I love it because I can be hands-free and like carrying things, groceries, babies, whatever. And this one's really pretty. So I'll put a co code below if you wanna grab 10% off my case. And then this little floral poof. And I have a lot of these and I use these for all different things. Oh, and I have a little spoolie that I got from when I had my lashes done. So in here, I have a little pouch. These are the little neats. I shared these on Instagram. They're little individual disposable disposable wipes and these are great for when you're going into the restaurant and you wanna like wipe down your silverware before you're eating it, eating with them. So that is in here. Then I have a bunch of hand sanitizer. This one's from Grove, it's the blood orange. Another, another little hand sanitizer. Another hand lotion. And then I have one of these alligator claws that I keep for my hair. And then just a whole bunch of pens and more cards. These are like store cards that I don't use, but I have and I use them when there's like store promotions going on. It's like beneficial, but I usually don't use them. Like J.Crew and my Loft and Express but I usually don't use those. I'll file some feminine things. So that's what I keep in here. And that is everything. That's the tote. As it compares to the Louis Vuitton, it, to me they're totally different bags. Totally different bags. They're both bucket bags, yes. But this bag is like nothing. It's weightless. You can put a lot of stuff in here and it still doesn't get as heavy as this bag. And the straps are just so comfortable. I was so wishing when I was in that customs line that I had this bag with me on my sh shoulders because these straps are just comfortable. In addition to the stuff I just shared, shared with you, I'd also keep, if I had the kids with me, probably keep, probably just Bentley because I don't carry stuff around for Addy, but I would keep his diaper, his diaper, um, wrap up thing. You'll see it in my diaper bag video. I would keep that in here with diapers and wipes and maybe like an extra pacifier, a little thing of puffs, and like a change of clothes or like pajamas if we're gonna go to my parents or my in-laws. The only other thing I keep in there is my little zip pouch, my canvas zip pouch, which I keep like baby Tylenol and more hand sanitizer and the nose Frida and Motrin and like those things, but I don't carry those with me like to the store and stuff. Those are in my diaper bag more so when I'm like, going away for the day or something and I need to have that stuff, but not much more is added to this bag. So I, I don't know, I hope that this review wasn't negative because I really do love, love, love this bag and I think it's great for the summer, like it's a nice tote and especially if you are like me and you have like different, different like pouches to keep your stuff organized inside. To me, like if I, if I have a bucket bag, I need to have like more organization inside because I hate when I'm like reaching for something and I can't find it. I do like how light the interior is because it's easy to find things. Oh, I also forgot to mention it has a little attached um, cord if you wanted to like clip your keys or another like wristlet or something that's in here. Do I regret this bag? No, I love it, I'll have it forever. It's definitely a nice investment. The nice thing about the Duvel is the price is a lot less obviously than like a classic flap because you're not really paying for a whole bag of leather. Just the handles are leather, but it's made out of like um, material. If you can find them, I definitely encourage you to pick them up. I don't think if I had carried this bag or felt this bag before I bought it, I don't think it would have changed my mind but I just probably wouldn't have traveled with it. Even like, you know, we're gonna be going to Florida soon and I really wanna bring this bag with me, but I just feel like it's so heavy and especially I'm gonna have the kids with me on the plane, I don't know. But I do wanna bring this with me. I'm not gonna be putting it in my suitcase, so I might just end up like biting the bullet and using this anyway. Maybe I can convince Dan to like put my makeup bag in his carry-on backpack or something um, because I really do love this and I like using it and when I'm by myself and I just have the things that I share with you, I don't mind it, um, it's great, but when I have a lot of other stuff or heavy stuff, it just becomes very heavy. Straps, the chain is just beautiful. It's what we all love about Chanel, but I do compromise comfort for how it night how nice it looks but i wanted to let you guys know that i've watched a lot of reviews on this bag and i don't feel like many people have talked about the weight of it yeah if you get your hands on one of these i still would recommend it especially if you're single or you know you're not going to use this as like a diaper bag i wouldn't use this as a diaper bag but as a good just like carry all um of your stuff it's very nice and I do prefer the larger side. I like having the top handles. They also make a smaller size which is more like a square tote with just the straps. 
I would miss having the handles because when these do get uncomfortable and heavy, I like that I have the option to switch to the handles. That's why I went for the large, and I believe there's an extra large. I think there's even a size bigger than this, but this is the perfect size for me. And if I hold it up next to the Neverfull, so you can see a size comparison, I put them like edge to edge. The Chanel is a little bit wider, a little bit wider. The Louis Vuitton is deeper. This is a little bit more shallow, but not that much bigger. I adjusted the light because I wanted you to see the tweed up close, especially with the writing. That is my little two cents on this bag. I love it, I don't regret it. It's just a little heavier than I was expecting and not the best for travel, like long flight travel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.